I'm coming out. Then want to let you do. Dun, 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 dun. Hey everybody, I'm John. I play in a band called the Goo Goo Dolls, and I'm here to play a game of song association with L. I'll be given a word, and I have 10 seconds to sing or rap, <laughs> which I'm not gonna do in that song. I don't think I'm gonna do very well at this, but, but you know, it's part of the deal. Before we get into the game, um, I'd like you to go check out our new album. It's called Chaos and Bloom. <laughs> Girl. Take it easy, baby. Make it last all night. She was an American girl. I love that song. It's just so exuberant, you know, and my band has been covering that song for 20 years. It's just an awesome rock song, and, and the words are great. I just think he was a master songwriter. I had the pleasure of meeting him and speaking with him. We talked about people's interpretations of music and leaving a little room for people to interpret what you're saying. They own a piece of that song and it becomes a part of their life. It, like the story becomes their story in a way. Baby. Well, what song isn't the word baby in? Like, uh, okay. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? Baby, 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 oh, baby. I think that's the Carpenters. I love you. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno, burn, baby, burn. Burn the mother down. Yeah, that's a great song. Out. Going back to disco. Uh, Diana Ross. I'm coming out. I want to let you do. Da, 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 da. That song is an epic masterpiece. The groove. <clears throat> before Pro Tools, before computers, somebody had to sit there and just lay in that pocket. And it's so badass. You can't help but love it. And Diana Ross is one of the greatest singers ever. It's just like, and the joy of that song is just so great. Forever. <laughs> oh my God. Is it gonna be forever? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Taylor Swift and I performed Iris. So I guess she, Taylor Swift said that was the best song ever. I, I, I didn't know that she said that, but it was really cool. It was really amazing. The only part of playing with Taylor Swift that made me feel a little uncomfortable was when they sort of like, I was under the stage and they sort of did one of those whoop and popped out of the stage. I was like, mm, I really don't want to do that, but it's her show, I'm a guest, I'll be here and do it. My biggest regret about that show was I didn't, I didn't stick around. I get like really anxious after I play. I know this is crazy. I don't like to hang around when I'm done. Like I do my job and I get the hell out of there as fast as possible and I, I don't know why that is. I almost feel like more adrenaline after a show than before a show. I need to escape from it as quickly as possible. Yesterday, the first thing that comes into my head, you know, is the song Yesterday. Yesterday, love was such an easy game to play. Some dude from some band, some old band. I think it's the Beatles. Stuff or like that. Some, yeah, pretty obscure stuff. Everyone. And though they were sad, they rescued everyone. A spoonful weighs a ton. That's a great record. That's the Flaming Lips. That's the soft bullet. You know, I just love the drum sound in that song because it's just, it's just outrageous, you know, and like really unique. And, and the, the story in that song is so just, when? When I was a young boy, right? That's from uh, John Cougar Mellencamp from his first record. Goo Goo Dolls fans would be surprised to find out that we would like to record like a song from a Broadway musical. That might be cool. Wrong. Okay, wrong, wrong. Can I do one of my own songs? Yeah, it's wrong, but I like you. That's our new single, I Like You. 
I, I kind of came up with the idea for the music video where I wanted to do like a red, sort of a red carpet of social media stars and influencers. I just thought it was really funny. And, and the fact that I got kicked in the balls by a 12 year old was just an unexpected treat. That was beautiful. Because it's like, it, I, the song, I, Yeah, I Like You, is kind of just like a little bit of satire about the concept of celebrity and fame. The path when we started was much straighter. You know, it's like you write your song, you make your record, you take it to the record company, they get you on the radio, you sell a million records, <laughs> or you don't. But now there's so many other things that are attached. You have to look a certain way. You have to have a certain set of values and opinions and all these things, and you're building a brand where I, I just want to write a good song and then go out and tour free. And I want to get free. Talk to me. That's very raspy, sort of phlegmy version of it. At the moment that I felt like we had made it, we had a song called Name, and I didn't realize that it was a hit because we had put so many records out and we, you know, we were always traveling in a van. And uh, I was in a supermarket at like three in the morning and the song Name came out of the speaker in the ceiling. It was like I was split right down the middle because I was like, wow. My song is playing in a supermarket in the middle of the night. That's pretty crazy. And then I was like, well, that's not cool. But, but then I was like, eh, be happy. Someone's playing your song somewhere. Day. It's early, I wanna see if I can actually sing this. All the same day after day. The more you scream, the less you say. That's uh, from a song off of our new album, Chaos and Bloom. And that song is called Day After Day. And uh, that song is just about kind of the division that we're seeing in America. So why don't we just leave those differences at the door and just enjoy something and try to find the similarities rather than the differences in ourselves. Live music especially has a way of bringing people together happy. Happy. I must listen to nothing but depressing music because happy. <laughs> It's not, I mean, I guess I could do that R.E.M. song. Shiny, happy people holding hands, I guess. I think the advice I would tell to somebody in the music business now is um, try to create something that's gonna, that hopefully leaves the space that you occupied a little bit better when you leave that space. Like, like try to leave something behind that's of value. Don't, don't worry about getting famous, because fame, world. <laughs> mad world, it's a mad world. <laughs> Tears for fears, mad world. In, wow, in. Um, this is a weird one. But in the meantime, it's like, I can't sing it, I can't even, I don't even remember the, the thing. Love, love. Exciting and new, come aboard. We're expecting you, the love boat. Soon we'll be making another run. Set a course for adventure, your mind on a new romance. All the songs, that's the one I know all the words to. So you can tell how I spent my childhood. Uh, I don't think I did. I don't think I, I dove as deep as I could. I kind of went with the first thought in my head. I know it's time to go and it sucks to say goodbye, but we have to say goodbye. This was actually a lot of fun. I, was, I think I was dreading it a little bit, but it was fun. Um, for more videos like this, subscribe to L. And thanks for watching me do Song Association. Bye.